The theme this year for World Environment Day is ecosystem restoration. It ties in perfectly with the ethos of Shimwari Private Game Reserve, conserving a vanishing way of life. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day on Shamari Private Game Reserve. So do me a favor and have a look around you. Right now where you are, just take a moment and have a look around you. How much of your environment is sustainable? How much of your environment is looking after the planet? We're about to go into World Environment Day. It's a United Nations program designed at generating awareness for conserving and looking after the planet. The theme this year for World Environment Day is ecosystem restoration. It ties in perfectly with the ethos of Shimwari Private Game Reserve, conserving a vanishing way of life. Essentially taking areas that have been damaged and restoring them back to their former natural beauty. Shimwari Private Game Reserve has been trying to achieve this for nearly 30 years. It's something I've been living myself for the last 16 years conserving a vanishing way of life. It's what we believe in, it's what we're trying to achieve, and I'm just one of many people here who are striving, pushing this idea, and trying to make a difference on our planet. So join me for the next little while and we'll have a look what we've done. I've got the perfect area over here I wanna show you that ties in with the idea of restoration of ecosystems. Something that we've done on Shimwari for many years and the natural process as it's reclaiming back from what it was to what it should be. Join me. Now this is a perfect example of what I wanted to show you about the restoration of ecosystems. And what I mean by that is this area that you can see so open behind me many years ago would have been cleared by farmers for planting crops. This would have been a field of things like chicory was grown in this area. There was wheat around in, in some areas around over here. This area would have been plowed up, natural bush would have been cleared, and it would have been used for crops. In the early 90s, Shimwari started buying up land and going from a small few thousand hectare reserve to what we are today, 25,000 hectares, it's been buying and restoring these, these farmlands, regenerating the land. And one of the ways of doing that is simply by reintroducing animal species. So once fences are taken down, that needs to be cleared up. Areas that were plowed up in certain ways need to be cross plowed to break down those ruts in the, in the ground. Every time it rains, animals simply walking over and through those fields will also start breaking down those ruts and eventually you'll lose the, the pattern completely. We have gone through a dry period now and, and you are able to see the last remnants of it. But if we look at a natural ecosystem and how it works, simply by reintroducing a, a, an animal like an elephant, we've got this elephant dung over here. And as this vegetation will be breaking down, so more and more nutrients are getting returned into the soil. It'll start off with the hardier plants, weeds, that type of stuff. They are the pioneers. They need to start looking after the soil again and protecting it and making sure that any grass seeds underneath can remain stable and then certain grass species will start growing in succession until eventually you have your best possible vegetation growing. Things like uh, woody plants will start colonizing again but animals are the engineers of the bush. They'll be dispersing seeds, depositing seeds, depositing compost and in so doing over many 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 years natural environments can start restoring themselves. Certain areas take longer than others. Some bush returns to uh, some form of normalcy within years. Other bush takes decades. Once it's disturbed and destroyed, it can take decades, hundreds of years, to get back to a natural state. So it, it's so important to look after and conserve this type of environment. Thank you. 
So nature is no one animal on its own. Nature is an interconnected web of interdependence. Nothing can survive on its own. And one example I want to show you just over here. It's not so much the elephants I want to speak to you about, but it's a species that is reliant on these animals. Shamwari Private Game Reserve is a big five reserve. We've got big animals, we've got lots of them. But that's not all we have, and that's not all we've invested our time in. There's a very special insect that I've spoken to you about previously called the Addo flightless dung beetle. So there's two animals that are vitally important to the survival and perpetuation of that species. And those two animals are elephants and buffalo. In 1997, we reintroduced Addo flightless dung beetles to this reserve from Addo to finish the cycle, to connect that web up again. And remember, Addo was formed out of necessity and there were only 11 animals left that were rounded up, put into a preserve that was then formed and created into Addo Elephant National Park. Uh, and because of that, the eradication of buffaloes and elephants and other wild animals from the environment, uh, so the Addo flightless dung beetle lost its range and it was limited to just a very, very tiny area that was Addo. And an area like Shimwari has increased its range. So not only are we about the big animals, we're about the small stuff as well because it is all interconnected. It has to fit together to form a healthy ecosystem. This, this is what we have to protect. This is what we need to keep on this planet small decisions that you make at home on the other side of the world that can have an impact if we get to keep places like this. So as we've just left the water hole and I can still hear the elephants they're not even a hundred meters from us, like 60-70 meters away from us we have this very very fresh buffalo dung with the tracks of the buffaloes here moving through. They must have gone to the watering hole just, just before the, the elephants. But again, the interconnectedness of nature is the dung beetles feed off of one dung from one species and they use the dung from another species as nesting material, as material for the, the larvae to feed off of. So again, just animals relying on one another and our introduction of one species has an implication on other species. So restoration of ecosystems. So if we look at another success story that Chamori Private Game Reserve has to our accolades, if we're looking at returning wild to the wild and restoring ecosystems, it would be this over here. Not the reintroduction of giraffe, but look carefully on those animals over there. But look at the oxpeckers on them. So many, many years ago, people have eradicated most forms of wildlife from this area. The ripple effect of that is there was no more food for the oxpeckers to feed off of. The external parasites that are found on wild animals are the food source for the oxpeckers. If those animals were taken out and reduced, it affected the oxpecker population. Their numbers plummeted. Another factor to consider was the arsenic-based tick dips that farmers were using on cattle. In other words, those arsenic-based Tick baths were poisoning oxpeckers. So because there had been an eradication of wildlife and the animals, the domestic animals that were left here didn't have ticks on them, oxpeckers were now regionally extinct from this area. So when we reintroduced wildlife, their parasite load of external parasites on them was just too great. It would have led to diseases and uh, just an inability to cope with it. Their biological control method that was naturally in place to look after those animals wasn't here anymore. So after five years of uh, negotiating permits and, and, and plans and that, our ecologist was sent to the Greater Kruger area and he returned with 51 oxpeckers. 51 birds were reintroduced to this area of the Eastern Cape. And over the last 20 years, from 97, those 
oxpecker numbers have increased exponentially through this area. They're now finding them on all different game reserves within the area. Uh, they're picking up on oxpeckers, and those birds are now able to feed off of our wild animal population. It's a, it's a natural part of the web. It's a, it's a fantastic reintroduction of a species that needs to be here. It forms part of the web and so important to our environment. It's things that we're doing to rewild our environment, conserving a vanishing way of life. Have a look around you, have a look what you can do and see what impact you can make to look after our planet. It's great to have you around. Do your part. I'm doing mine. We'll see you soon.